We've literally put our blood, sweat, and tears into these missions. So have I. No, you haven't. All you've done is boss people around, talk over people, and be a dick. So shut up. Hey guys, today we're talking episode six through eight of The Mole. Season two. Yeah. yeah it's getting g- interesting. Oh, it is, man. I, I it's getting harder and harder to tell who The Mole is now because some of the people you're thinking were The Mole kind of pulled through on some of these episodes. I was like, damn. Yeah. And we had our yeah. poll last time and let's discuss who people think is The Mole. I voted for Ryan. I did as well. I also well, voted for Ryan. There you go. Three, well, there you go. And, for... and that matches most people because at 51% people voted for Ryan. Yeah. Now, who do you think's in second place here? Probably Michael or Muna. Michael, Michael or Sean. Michael or Muna. It's very close second place with Muna at 20% and Michael at 18%. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that sounds about right. And the lowest is Sean. You're wrong, Sean, Ashley. Sean went up. Sean went up in my book this this week. Well, Sean, know. the way Sean's playing, he, he's trying so hard for people to think he's a mold that maybe he really is. <laughs> like, right. Shit. So I, I don't know. There's something something crazy there. I don't suspect Sean at this point. Yeah, he, he's trying too hard to make people think he's a mold. But I mean, it's just like, man. But but if he will, if he is doing that, and it turns out he was a mold, I'd be like, shit, great play. Yeah. So let's get into it. So we left off where they had the auction and someone. Bet it all. Yeah, what a shocker this was, right? Yeah, and then Ari's like, would the person who bet it all like to reveal themselves? Yeah. And Niche admits to doing it. I do trust Niche and Sean. Both of them are not that stupid to do that. Yeah, he, he took some few minutes and he kind of looks around and raises his hand. <laughs> now, do you think that's a smart move for him to do that? Uh, I don't know. Whether it's smart or not. I mean, I guess at this point, it really doesn't matter because, I mean, everybody else is, I mean, he did, he did make a good point. Everybody else has been selfish at some point in this game. He's like, look, I really haven't, you know, and, and he's probably got a little animosity, but when freaking uh, Melissa was like, hey, we should give this, you know, this thing to Niche because we threw him under the bus in the beginning and everybody was like, fuck Niche, we're not giving it to him. And so now he's like, hey, it's my time. It's my time to have a damn exemption here. So I, I don't blame the guy, but yeah, betting it all, I was like, man, it was kind of a... Should now, move. Niche was never on my radar because of that yeah. first episode mainly. And I wouldn't think they would allow the mole to just be able to bet it all like that because that would be messed up. Yeah, it would be. Now, I don't know if they can or not, but that would be messed up. And so hearing now, this, I'm like, now I'm less suspecting yeah. even more of him. Now, what I will say, when Hannah started giving him all that <laughs> shit and basically name calling his stuff, it's like, you know what, Hannah, you can go F yourself because... Who cost the who cost thirty grand in the first one? And you were like, "Hey, I'll sit here until it goes to zero if I have to." You did. So she's got no freaking room to give me shit. She's a changed person now. Remember? Yeah, change my also, ass. <laughs> also, that was the beginning. That was like at the very early part of the game when there was a chance to rebuild the pot. They're getting towards the end now. So yeah. like. They, they have no money, yeah. and like, if yeah. you want to win, you got to win some money. Oh yeah, but it doesn't matter. She, she, <laughs> if anybody in that freaking, if anybody in that group has no room to freaking talk, it's her ass. So Niche is safe, but people aren't too happy with this decision here. Oh yeah, no, people are pissed. So, and it's quiz time. And, and then Q, man, Q is like, damn it. Yeah, quit. <laughs> Q is the one who fails the test here, and oh, he's man. eliminated. And I really dude, liked Q. I, I love Q, man. I felt so bad for this dude. You know, he started, I mean, he started crying on the one-on-one and shit. I'm like, man, this guy. I'm like, if anybody deserved to win this game, it's that guy. And unfortunately, he just, you know, I'm, I'm guessing maybe he just tried pinpointing too much on one person or something and just cost him. I was like, man. So I'm really bummed that ne- or that Q is out now. And I'm like, yeah. this sucks. Yeah. But... I get irritated because in the next scene, they're talking about bringing Bring him, him back. back. And I do not, I not like, like eliminate either. people and the possibility of yeah. them coming back. I, I don't like it either. I mean, I mean, it was cool to see Q again for him to get a second chance. But at the same time, I'm with you. I didn't like it. I was like, you know what? Once you're gone, you should be gone. And, and you're, then that's it, you know? You guys weren't alone on that, you know? There was a couple people. And it makes sense, like... There was the comment um, that he has an advantage now because whoever he was voting for before, he knows isn't working. Mm-hmm. Like, so he's now got to change his target. So he has a little bit of an advantage over the rest of them. 
Yeah, so they, they, you, would th- you would think anyway. They leave it to the contestants to vote on whether they want him back or not. And and I I honestly thought a lot of people were going to have him back because he is a good so, guy. Right. Yeah. And you win money, so it's like, oh, you get money and him. You but, would think it might cost you money to bring someone back, but obviously that makes it bad on you trying to win the money. Oh yeah. But and I'm kind of surprised but, people well, don't know. But then, but then again, when Hannah said that, you know. Or whoever it was that said that, or no, no, it was Ryan. It was like, look, if we bring him back, he's got an advantage. So no, so she made a damn good point. When she said that, and I was like, okay, I get it. And then, but then the other, and but then the dudes are all like, nah, f this guy. He's like, he's gone, he's gone. You know? Yeah. Here to win. Ryan, Michael, Sean, and Nish all said no. Yeah, and exactly. yeah all the guys. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and all the women, Dina, <laughs> Hannah, and Muna say, yeah. let's bring him back. And, well, and if anybody you thought was going to say yes, you thought it'd been Sean, right? Because Sean and Q were boys, you know. And Sean's like, I love you, Q, but nah, man. <laughs> yeah. And this is another point where Ryan kind of like stepped up a little bit for me as far as my suspect, because Mm -hmm. she's nervous. Like if she's the mole and and he wasn't guessing her and now she's, that's one less person to eliminate or, you know, for him to choose from to get to her. So that's why I think she was afraid of that. Yeah. So at this point, four people vote, no, let's not bring, and I like the rationale. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And and then uh, three people vote yes. So I'm like, oh, that was close. Like I didn't really want Q. I love him, but I don't want to see him back. But they're like, this is not a popular vote. Yeah. Now I did like the way they did this. You know, it was cool to kind of like, all right, Q, like the the ball's in your court now. In order to come back, you got to figure out, you know, who voted yes, who voted no. But the thing is, when freaking uh, when Muna was flat out like, dude, it's three four. The guys that yeah, should have been she's the only one throwing yeah, numbers exactly. out there. The guys should have jumped on there and been like, Muna's full of shit. You know, it's five two. Like we voted this way. You know, and, and Muna's a freaking liar. But nobody did, right? They always kept their mouth shut. And I yeah, was like, well, that's it stupid. might it might be one thing to vote to not have him, but with him right there, maybe mm-hmm. they're like, I'm not going to advocate strongly <laughs> for this. Right. Now, this could have been an editing thing, but, you know, three people put their hand up right away, and then uh-huh. Michael and Sean slowly put their hands up. So if I'm Q, I'm looking at that like they're strategizing, they're taking their time before they put it up, but these three people put it up right away. So yeah. like, yeah. And I, and I think, like, if you're on the side, bring them back, you don't have much to hide. The other people are like, how do I want to play this, you know? So I could believe that could be a natural thing. Right. And Sean, he lays it out pretty good. No, he does, man. Like, Sean is, like, at least, like, the way he's handling things is going up in my book over yeah. these three episodes because he plays a pretty strong oh. and convincing game, Q, especially yeah. here. He's like, Q, you're my boy. <laughs> yeah. You know, not only did I get the opportunity to bring you back, but I also get to put 20000 in the pot doing it. He's like, it's a win-win, you know? Yeah, he's like, I love having you around. Yep. You know? oh, yeah. I was like, oh, man. <laughs> But like I said, Muna is the only one really throwing a number that mm-hmm. really helps him. Yeah, exactly. So it's really Sean versus Muna here. Like, who are you going to believe? And Sean never said any numbers. So right, exactly. Even if you're like, I don't believe him, but I got to yeah. come up with something here. Like, yeah, and, and like I said, nobody nobody countered when Muna said three four, you know, or four three, however she put it. But either way, no none yeah. of the dudes were countering. Like, nah, she's lying. It's fucking five two or whatever, you know. Yeah. So. So Q is back legitimately, and I was, I did not, again, I did not like this. No, I didn't either. Yeah, so Q's back, and and here's what I started thinking. I was like, maybe he's the mole, and right, this is the show kind of throwing us off, because if he was the mole, he would be given the right numbers. Exactly. I was, see, I, I had the exact same thought, too. I was like, okay, maybe, you know, I said, maybe that's the spin they're giving it here. Either way, it wasn't cool to bring him back, yeah. but, you know, but, so I, but thought I, this, I had the same thought. I was like, the show's trying to be cheeky and brilliant, and, like, they'll never suspect them now. Right, exactly. But uh, later we find out that's not the case. Well, I'm thinking, I mean, again, I feel like I've watched the show before, but I haven't. It's been a long time. So th- the mole isn't taking the quiz, right? So the mole should never be eliminated. Yeah, you wouldn't think so. I, that's what I'm thinking, but I don't and, know. I could be and, wrong. And, and if they are, then they're not a very smart mole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the mole's not going to get eliminated with the quiz, but I yeah. thought like maybe they came up with a brilliant strategy to throw people off. Right, like like they just even though Q wasn't taking the quiz, they just freaking said he gave him the red light yeah. and then gave him a chance to come back in. Yeah, yeah. So then we have the cave challenge, and they split up into two teams. We have a river team and a rope team. Yeah, this is cool. I like the challenge. You know, I thought I thought, I thought it'd been fun to partake in it. You yeah, know? really like, cool yeah, environment. Cool. I mean, yeah. spelunking and stuff or whatever. Uh, I mean, I guess they're not really cave diving, but right. like it's really cool. Yeah, no, it was. Uh, this was a horrible challenge for me. I like that they got to go through it, but if I was in that situation, ooh, I don't know. Like, I didn't like the whole tight spaces thing. Um, so I was like, I probably, and I don't like height. So I was like, I probably would have gone with that one. But then there were bats. He didn't mention bats. Like, 
I, I don't know. The bats the weren't hurting thing. nobody. Yeah, the bats at least weren't like flying around. Yeah. They were just kind of hanging out in the ceiling. But exactly. they were and the water in on like uh, you know the river team looked pretty clean. Yeah, oh yeah, it did. If man. it was like murky, dirty water, I'd be like, oh. Yeah, that was it was good, man. And, and it wasn't that tight, right? I mean, when they're going under these spots, I mean, Deanna like played it out so bad, and that really made me start thinking, is she the mole? Because like you know, it wasn't even that tight of spaces. Even she fit through there just fine, being the biggest person in the group, and it was just you know, it didn't seem like it was a big issue to me. Now. One of our uh, viewers did say, like, hey, in the cargo scene, there was a tiger that don't F with cats, so yeah. it could be Deanna, and yeah. there were some Vegas chips in the heist mission. She's from Vegas, apparently, so uh -huh. I'm like, that's pretty yeah. interesting. And now, so I'm kind of trying to pay more attention to her, and yep, she is complaining here. about this claustrophobia oh, thing. Oh, big time. But I don't know if it's really holding them too far back. But it, it had them almost damn down to the freaking line, to the wire there getting at the end. And then, of course, even the players on her team are kind of noticing it and talking about it. They're like, look, is Deanna playing this up too much? And, and she totally, I mean, it was just like, she, it just seemed to me like she was going overboard with her complaining about it, you know? I was like, I, I mean, I, it was kind of a tight space. I felt like she could have played it up a little bit more if yeah. she wanted to. No, and she's not very athletic, so she probably could have slowed well, down quite well, a bit. With the players, I mean, I mean, of course, we're only seeing little bits and pieces of it, but the players complain on camera like she's really holding this up. This is kind of ridiculous. Obviously, she was holding them up, them up a hell of a lot more than they would have liked, right? So, and this, they have three challenges like puzzles to solve, and then it eliminates yeah. an idol at the end. I guess if they get all three puzzles right, then they'll just be right, handed the idol. Yeah. But each team gets one wrong. Mm hmm. What, did you have any thoughts about the puzzles? Presented? Yeah, they're, I, I like the puzzles. I thought they were cool. I thought they were just, I mean, I thought they were just the right amount of difficulty to kind of, you know, kind of have people thinking like, oh, shit, you know, am I kind of right here, wrong yeah. here? Now in the so. square one, Moon is like, I've seen this puzzle before. It's 40. 40. Two, three, four, I've five. seen this specific math equation one time, and it was 40. Yeah, and then nobody <laughs> listened to her. Yeah. Nobody <laughs> listened to her. Freaking Sean. Sean's like, oh, 36. And everybody's like, yeah, 36. Are you sure? 36. Yeah. And then freaking Moon was right. right the I mean, there's so many squares there. I could see oh, yeah. how you could easily right. get it wrong. But like, no one really listened to Muna too much yeah. when I mean, she said she that. She flat out said, I have seen this puzzle before and I know the answer's 40. And then everybody's like, Now I'm going to probe that a little more. I'm like, are you sure the boxes were the same? Exactly. Yeah. But, but, it, but they kind of ignore her. Yeah, they totally ignored her. <laughs> so. Yeah, it was crazy. And then on the other one, I think Michael says the wrong number on one, and people don't really listen, but he's shouting out the wrong number uh -huh. on the box. So I don't know if that means anything, but he tried to convince them it was like 42 at one point, but they, they overrode him and went with 40. Yeah, exactly. So I don't know. Imagine, I mean, I mean, you know, Michael's been shady from the beginning, right? We keep seeing this kind of stupid nonsense from Michael being shady, and it keeps wanting us to think, okay, Michael's definitely on the suspect list. Then at the same time, people that have been voted off, we're pretty sure we're hard on Michael, so it's like, damn. What is, I think know? Michael is just playing a good game. I yeah, don't think he's so. the mole. I think he's just playing a good game where he does enough shady stuff to draw attention to right. him. That's my thought. And, and maybe he realizes, look, I'm the only redhead here, so if I can get these idiots to think I'm the mole, and they're saying, oh, the person's got red hair, X, Y, and Z, he's like, that's just big freaking you know bonus for me and against them because that's going to totally cut their numbers down on the points. So they, I, I do like the mirror one. I thought that one was kind of clever with the numbers. That was good, yeah. I didn't get that one. I, I felt I so either. dumb. Yeah, so did I. I felt dumb <laughs> I was like, I'm, good. I'm like that chick that's on Survivor, you know, like, put me in for the puzzles. I'm good at puzzles. I can do this. And I'm like, I even went back and paused. And I was like, what? I don't understand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was no, so that, disappointed. That, yeah, that first, the first team that was like, this one doesn't even look like it. It looks like anything else. So it's got to be this one. I was like, right there with them. So. Right. Oh, yeah. No, I was thinking the same thing because it was neat. It was neat. It was niche that said that. And I was like, okay, I can see that, right? Because they're all different symbols. So I was like, okay, perfect. You know? And then it was like, no, you're wrong. And I was like, damn, okay. And I was like, I don't get it. But yeah. it makes perfect sense with the numbers being mirrored. So mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. So I thought that was pretty clever. But they get to the end, and it's it's essentially a 50-50. And I was like, that's a little weird. But I see that damn tiger yeah. there again. I'm like. Yeah. Now, Muna or somebody made a good point. And they were like, we're in Malaysia, mm -hmm. a tiger. There you go. Boom, you know. And it's like, okay, yeah. But I'm sense. like, is this whole show centered around this tiger thing? And Deanna is the mole right. who is the don't F with cats lady. That is that just too Maybe. obvious or is that something? Yeah, it might be. I don't know. But uh, anyways, one team grabs the fish. The other team grabs the the tiger yep. and and, and niche is like let's grab the tiger, tiger. and hannah's just kind of done with fish. niche at this point yeah, and goes like, nope, the fish. she's like we're getting the fish and everybody else is like all right fine fine hannah the fish one of the thing is too she has somewhat been on my radar but not completely but i'm like man maybe hannah's just playing a really good game and she's the mole you know so i'm, I'm kind of like wondering if maybe hannah's the mole at this you know at this point 
You know, she was the one that was adamant about going against Niche, going with that fish. And with no reason behind it, she was like, yeah, I just feel like it's the fish, you know? So, I don't know. Yeah, well, the re- I mean, it's a 50-50. There's no right. information to yeah. really give you anything too much anyway. So, you got to pick one. Yeah, no, that's true. And, but, and, and yeah, I'm a little annoyed with Niche. If I was on his team, I'd be thinking something awfully similar. Yeah, probably so. But at the same time, you know, I, I, I don't know, man. I, I just... That him choosing all that money wasn't enough for me to think he was the mole. You know, it really wasn't. So, yeah. So, I mean, the team who chose the tiger is right. The team who chose the fish is wrong. Yeah. So, they add some money to the pot. Yeah. I think it was like ten grand or something. Yeah, right. And it's quiz time again. And apparently, uh, Q is a terrible test taker. Yeah, this poor <laughs> bastard. Like- <laughs> poor Q, man. This dude. Like at, at this point, it's like Q. Do not choose the same shit you chose before. Go the opposite something, and somehow he loses again. I was like, this poor guy, man. Yeah, well, I can see how that's a problem. And, like, if he's just going to an – you got – I think – I don't know if he's being strategic in, like, spreading it out. I think he's, like, going all in on one person, Mm -hmm. and he chose poorly twice, I think. Yeah, I think so. And and, and unfortunately, I'm just like, you you think he would change up his game plan. And even Hannah was like – because Hannah mentioned – She's like, you know what? She's like, what happened was what I suspected. I suspect because oh, she's like, other people were like, oh, he'll have an advantage. She's like, nope, I think he was just going to screw with his head. And she's like, and it sure did. I was like, hey, it was a good call on Hannah's part. Yeah, I bet you Ryan was sitting there like, I thought this was an advantage for him. But <laughs> right. here he is. Like, She was probably surprised more than anybody. Oh, I'm sure she was. That was so- crazy. I was actually happy to see this because I did not want Q coming back. So I thought right. this was this was kind of cool because you bring him back for another challenge, you get more Q. But he's the next one out, which I thought was fitting. Yeah, no, it was fitting. But and, and now we know for damn sure Q ain't the mole, right? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone thought he might be playing a master right. game or something, right. but uh, apparently not. I mean, he played it pretty straight, and I I didn't I never suspected Q because he just seemed to be a yeah. pretty open book. Now, if he was the mole, I was like, dang. Right, exactly. That would have been good, but yeah, no, uh, dude, I mean, I, mean, I remember a lot of people in the comments were like maybe it's Q, and I was and I was responding like, dude, that would be awesome if it's Q because he'd be playing it great if it was, and fortunately, that's not the case. Yeah. So we move on to the the mining boat dredger bomb challenge. Oh uh, yeah, this one. And people are split up into three teams now. The teams are getting smaller: teams of two and one team of three, which I think is kind of interesting. I like that they split up into groups of two because now they've got a one-on-one on each other, but they're also having to communicate at the end. So like they have insight on the one person that they're with, but then also how they're communicating. But I do like that now they're smaller groups, so more information can be relayed. Mm-hmm. Now you can kind of narrow it down and see who's really sabotaging the missions. Because yeah. when you're in a group of four, it's like, oh, like, it could be anybody at this dude, point. Dude, I'd kinda. say who killed it, though. Hannah, man. Hannah and freaking uh, Muna, man. They, they killed it. I was like, They're Damn, like, we dude. know what to do with They this, nailed yeah. that shit. And it was Hannah. It was like coming up with all. She's like, all right, let's do X, Y, this, this, this. All right, boom, 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 boom. And I was like, Damn, good job, Hannah. So they have to get like six kilograms worth of what, or, 10 or, or whatever 10, the heck it was. Or, yeah. And, uh, yeah, I've seen things like this where you got to use the two mm-hmm. buckets. I mean, I play yeah. many like games that have you do that kind yeah. of stuff. But um, like for me, yeah, I mean, same thing. It wasn't hard to figure out, right? It was pretty damn easy to figure this one out for somebody who's done it before. But, yeah. but for the people who hadn't done it before, I could see how it'd be right. kind of hard. To and, do. and Sean's like, ah, the, the math—it's too much. <laughs> and like, I feel like we you need, don't need to know math too much. I no. get like they have the thing on the wall, and there's a lot of numbers, so it could like overwhelm you. And but it's a pretty simple task. Well, dude, and all that all that was was just to throw everybody off. Or is all that shit was for? Yeah, right? like the one thing: one liter equals. One, one kilogram. kilogram. That's, That's the important piece out of that whole thing. Exactly. Yep. So you know, and uh, and then Sean was like, and then Sean kept, and then he even said it. He's like, look, I'm gonna keep asking for the clue, keep making these fools dig on the mole, and he did like every two minutes. Hey, let's hit that clue. Yeah. So that's the thing too. It's like the show is with us and showing too much insight insight into Sean's game too, which I yeah. think is a little weird. Yeah, it is weird. I, I did think it was funny, like Sean being over the top. He's like, you know, every other sentence was like, hey, there's a clue over here, like. Let's not forget about the clue. Like, oh my God, we can't figure this out. What about the clue? Like, it was just, uh-huh. it was a, l- a little over the top. Oh, well, I mean, and then you had Ryan and Michael, man. And this, like, like they, they're like, I don't even know what them. to begin. They were both acting like they didn't know what the hell they were doing. Like, they were both just like, as, as like, is there two moles in this game? Cause I think, it, you know, it was like, holy crap. It seems super shady. Yeah. It's like oh, they're dude. both being shady. And they're oh, like, well, if you don't horrible. know what you're doing, I'm just going to go along with that. Right. And then, like, Michael's like, you know, now Michael did mention earlier, hey, we should probably take a clue. And, and Ryan's like, no, let's keep, let's hold off, let's hold off. 
And like, if neither one of you know what the fuck's going on, just take the damn clue. Yeah, spend five minutes and go, we're in over our head here and we're just wasting time. Yeah, exactly. But Ryan was like, nope, let's hold off on that. So it's like, Ugh. And that clue like breaks it down Barney style. Oh, totally. And essentially he's like, do this, 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 and this. Well, I thought what was funny about this is watching these two. It's like, are they even trying to figure it out? I'm like, why don't you just sit down, have a cup of coffee, stare out at the water? Like they didn't even look like they were like trying to figure it out. They're just like looking at the same chart. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. yeah, and and Muna and Hannah kill it, and they're like waiting for the other teams to finish to get on the radio. Uh -huh. And and what is interesting about this is like two teams are finished; they're waiting on the third team. But there's plenty of time to wait on the third team, but, and they cut their wires yeah, minutes early. They were down to like five minutes at this point, I think. Yes. Yeah, they, but they why would time. you do it so early? Yeah, I don't know. I mean. I I mean, in one perspective, they knew, hey, one of us is going to get this right, so we'll get at least the ten grand or however much it was. You know, at least one of us is going to get money out of this. So that I understood. But at the same time, it's like let's wait till there's only like a minute left. You know, and, and, you know, wait a yes. longer, and they didn't. So I, did, I didn't really understand uh, why they cut it so yeah. early. Mm -hmm. I thought the same thing, and I'm like, you, you have like plenty of time to give them a minute. Like, come up with your plan now of which wire, who, who's going to cut which wire at minute one at that marker you're going to cut this wire if they haven't gotten on the, the walkie talkies yet, but like wait until that point. Yeah, exactly. the, the only thing I can think is they thought there might be more to the challenge. So they wanted some more time, but I mean, you're cutting the wire on the bomb. Right. Exactly. So, that point, at that point it's over. Yeah. But yeah, they cut it early and, and you know, one team gets it because they choose kind of the same wire. So mm -hmm. it's like, Hey, if that wire didn't work for you, then most likely that's the wire for us. Yep. And then that third team does finish and now it's obvious which wire they should cut oh dude yeah I mean, I mean now granted i will give michael this both teams were both like yelling like okay this wire that wire so michael's like oh i thought you said this and that but at the same time they said it pretty damn clear like it was clear like hey cut this one not the one you cut and he was like nope i heard it this other way but i mean i i can get him pushing that narrative especially if he's the mole mm -hmm. like all oh, you guys are talking yada 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 in my ear right. but at the same time it's like bro they they told you, you know, at, at one point was. i think he says you said this one so we cut that the, one and yeah. i was like what right yeah exactly you said blue so we went yellow i was thinking the same thing and it's like how many of these people are like trying to throw him off by just talking over each other because they keep talking and like all they had to say is you have this wire you have this wire they just had to say cut this color cut yeah, exactly. this color Nope. The blue. Yep, they kept exactly. explaining their reasoning to him as to why they thought like we had this one and then we they had that one and the, uh, he doesn't need to hear all, yeah. that. Just no, tell all he needs to hear is cut the blue <laughs> right cut the blue that's it yeah. Right? yeah so i don't know if it was a communication error but it seemed like an opening for the mole oh, or yeah. someone to introduce some shadiness yeah, so. exactly yeah that, that was definitely strange man i was like i mean i mean I, like when what they were telling him i understood that he should have cut the blue like, so, you know, I don't know how he didn't get it, but at the same time, I do see how he could use that everybody talking to each other as an excuse. But then Ryan sat there and just didn't say anything and watched uh -huh. him cut it, too. So, oh, yeah. You know. no, I, yeah, yeah, she absolutely. she she will let people mess up and she doesn't really self-correct them too much. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. Ryan was my pick. So I'm watching her and yeah. she continues well, to yeah. make me suspicious. And then because then she gets she could just throw the blame at him. Like, yeah, he cut it. I don't know what the hell he was doing. He cut the wire. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so after this they get in two cars and they kind of separate and then they come together and said send a negotiator yeah dude, i was wondering to play a game of chicken i was like oh shit <laughs> i was like all right all right team when should we when should we turn off you know <laughs> i was thinking the same thing bro I, I was like i was like now i'm ready for this competition i was like hell yeah <laughs> No, they have to decide a negotiator and this was where sean is like i should go i've had some training and hannah's like you've had some training yeah, well, then, well, Hannah called him out as the cop, right? One, no, some, Hannah, this some, was news did. to Hannah that yeah. he's a cop. Somebody, so she's some, like, you're a cop? You have training in this? Yeah, somebody yeah. in the car had kind of called him out on it because I think they had watched his video, but yeah. Yeah, but Hannah did not know he was a cop, so yeah, she was surprised yeah. to learn that. Did Ryan watch his video? I don't remember Ryan watching his video. So, somebody watched I think Ryan video. did watch yeah, I think, it. I think she um, did. So she knew. I know and, Michael did. But she, that was news to her, and I guess people aren't talking too much. I'm yeah. kind of surprised at the end of the night people aren't sharing things that... In the past episodes, they show people like having those conversations, but they don't really show that too much here. Right. So, um, but yeah, it's Muna and Sean. And I was like, these are two pretty good, strong mm. people to send in there. Oh, yeah, I thought so too. I actually thought Muna had advantage over Sean because Sean hasn't been that impressive with this stuff, except I did like what he did last time. And I guess at the little uh, um, fortune table cookie was okay. Yeah, he was there good too, there, yeah. but... But, he, but he hasn't been the best liar, that's for sure. 
Yeah, so they go and like, hey, you you could choose 50k or an exemption, and the whole car gets the exemption. So mm -hmm. I was like, dang, that's yeah. a pretty strong reward. Yeah, and when and here you go again, you get to see how selfish because everybody, I mean, both cars like we're going to the exemption. You know, I mean, Muna was really the only one that was like, I want the money. Everybody else was like, fuck the money, get the exemption. Yeah, well, and you I was can't like, Man. hand a whole nother car an exemption. Yeah. You just can't let that happen. I don't yeah. think so. Like, even though you may want money, you can't do that. Right. But nobody else wanted the money. They all wanted the exemption, right? So, yeah. Well, I get it. Like that's huge at this point in the game. Yeah. And like, if but, you choose the cash and you get taken for a ride, and then the whole other car gets, you just yeah. can't let that. Well, happen. And, and I think at this point, Ari had already told them that at the next uh, next uh, vote thing or whatever, the next freaking thing, that two people were going home. Right? I think at this point he had already told them that, which is I another don't know reason about that. But I thought, I thought he had told them that. Already. Um. So like, Muna goes to the car, and they're like, no matter what choose the exemption she's like i kind of want the money, money though and she's yeah. not really listening to her team so you're like uh-oh what's gonna happen here and then sean's car discusses like go for the exemption but do your damnest yep. to convince her you're going it, for the make, money. make it sound like ryan's pissed off you know and yep. isn't that yeah exactly. and let me tell you something he tries hard oh he did he did good yeah he did. And he's he like did. let's be heroes here Look, and <laughs> i got i got i got kids to feed you gotta forget <laughs> yeah. you know, i, I mean, this money i was like oh, he, he gave did. it his best shot oh he did i've got my wife's student loans to pay off i got a son in college a hundred thousand dollars is life-changing for my family to go home empty-handed is embarrassing for me well i thought muna did a good job here too because like muna's face and her body language i thought he had convinced her so i thought she did a really good job, like responding to his acting as well. No, I, I mean, as soon as they sat down to open up the envelopes to look at her face, I knew she chose exemption, like because she didn't, she wasn't like super pissed. She didn't have a super pissed off look when they opened his and he said exemption. I was like, all right, she chose exemption too before they even opened hers. I was like, I knew it. Uh, I wasn't really surprised that she chose exemption, and I don't know how she played it because she kind of just put it on Sean. So mm -hmm. I'm like. I don't know how great of a strategy that is because you're not giving any indications to Sean that you're kind of going with the cash. Besides, you're like, well, why sh Why should I believe that you're going with cash? Mm -hmm. So well, She did tell Sean, she's like, I want more than anything to get this money. She's like, I really want this money, but I'm not sure that you're going to go for the money. So, Yeah, so, I mean, no surprise here. They both choose two exemptions and no money. This, this mission's a little bit of a fail, but quite mm -hmm. honestly, that's the safe way to play this one, I think. Yeah, I mean, had to go for the exemption. Yeah, it was. But then Hannah was like, and it's funny because Hannah makes these comments when her dumb ass was the one that was saying, oh, let's get the exemption. She's like, oh, man, if we'd have all just gone for the money, we'd have 50K and we still wouldn't have any exemptions. It's like, yeah, no shit. That was like the rules explained to you in the beginning <laughs> when you said you wanted the exemption. Right. That's supposed to be the penalty <laughs> right. for that. Right. But. So they go back and, you know, there's another quiz. We got one mole. But apparently no team players out here, right. so... <laughs> hey, the most loving life right now, man. Yeah. So now this, this to me, is like, you know, a, a tough quiz because, like, everyone is a suspect. And anyone going home now is, like, I think, big. Mm -hmm. anyway. Especially, to me, the one after this. But because, like, I was like, there's only one person that I really don't suspect. And it's it's Niche, and he gets chosen here. So right. I was glad to kind of see that. Oh, yeah, no, I was glad to see Niche go as well. Because, uh, you know, again, I'm, I'm, I'm in the same boat. Like, I don't think Nisha's a mole, so let's just get him out of right. here. Let's, uh, yeah, I like how it's playing out where, like, the people I don't suspect are kind of leaving at this point. Right. Yeah, and exactly. maybe they're the ones not playing a good game, and they're easily readable. So I guess mm -hmm. that kind of makes sense. But, I mean, I guess you could still – you could be playing the game good and suspect who the mole is. Right. But it does help if you're trying to throw other people off thinking it's you, though, which oh, yeah. he's not really doing that great of a job, I don't think. I mean, people are calling him out, but I don't know if they're believing it. Right, exactly. Yeah, for a hot second, I had suspected Niche, but um, when he went for that uh, exemption card and bet all the pot, I was like, yeah, the mole wouldn't. Uh, if the mole did it, they definitely wouldn't own up to doing it. Yeah, and, yeah. and now Niche is having his little thing, and he says, like, um, he definitely doesn't know who the mole is clearly, and it shows Deanna when he says that. Uh -huh. So I'm like, is this another clue right. that points to right, Deanna right, right, again? Right. So I don't know if you picked up on that, but oh, now I'm like, oh man, is it her? I don't know, man. I mean, she's uh, she's on my radar for sure now, no doubt. I mean, with, with like you said, with the comments around our thing about the tiger and all that, and then just seeing how she's been just freaking drawing shit out, and and quite honestly, to this point, Deanna has done nothing. I mean, zero to help in any competition. She's been a hindrance more than she's been a help throughout this whole show so far. Yeah, I I'm buying yeah. into it now. Oh yeah, yeah. I I agree. Like. 
Deanna is becoming a suspect after these episodes. And But what's funny is I didn't pick up on any of these things that these commenters are telling us about, like the tiger. And I feel like I need to go back and rewatch all these episodes now to try to pick up these subtle clues now that we're narrowing the group down. Yeah, so at this point, Deanna and Ryan have been taken. I will look for you. I will find you. Oh, oh, but yeah, they have. But, but get this, though. <laughs> Speaking of which... <laughs> <laughs> so let's go. So let's go back to that idol thing, right? The tiger was the idol. None of them thought about the tiger in the truck. Like, oh shit, there was a tiger in the truck. Look, now there's a tiger for the idols. Maybe we should go with the tiger. So maybe that was another kind of hint for them early on that the idol they were going to need to choose was the tiger. Maybe, you know. Then when you go to the breakfast, whether or they're waiting for Muna to come down for the breakfast, they keep showing the group at breakfast, and there's some kind of cat sitting there. Hmm, I don't remember a cat sitting there. Yeah. But... That's interesting. Yeah. Yeah, they, they show the table and there's like a cat on the floor, like looking at the table. All signs mm. pointing to the. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. So they're they're taken. They have to be found. I think they have two hours to find, yeah, hours find, to find them, them and they can make phone in a, calls. In a four mile radius, right? So. Yeah. So those two are locked up and they have to kind of describe where they are to the team as they search for them. Yeah. So, you know, the team, of course, rightly so, they're like, hey, let's call right now to see, you know, off the bat, just kind of see if they can tell us what they're seeing. And then Deanna, again, was like taking her time to answer. She was like, um, yeah, there's some red. And it was like, and then the phone's cutting off. I'm like, dude, totally suspect. I'm like, like, how the fuck are you just going to sit there quiet and just not say, rattle your shit off as much as you can real quick, you know? Yeah, this is tough because these two are almost like my top two suspects. Exactly. They're, they're in room one together. room together. Exactly. And, exactly. and I almost feel like they're playing off each other right. for this thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No kidding, man. I was like, damn, this is nuts. This reminded me of like when our son was in the uh, the military and he goes to basic training and they, they get to call to give you the address. They have like 60 seconds to talk to you. There's no like BS. It's like, you got a pen, you got a paper, write this down. Bye. Like, you got to get your point across super quick. And She's just like, oh, can you hear me? Can you hear me? And oh, then they're yeah. like, can you hear me? Can you hear me? And they're like, yep. There, there's not even much no. for like the team with looking for you to say. They're like, where are you? That's all they need yeah, to exactly. say. Like, describe it. Like, well, he, why are you having a conversation? Yeah. Like, tell me what you tell, see. Tell me what you see. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, you just wasted four seconds right there. Oh, yeah. I mean, and then she, again, man, with her, I mean, she was just dead silent. I was like, what the hell is this woman doing? Like, say something. You know, I was like, man, this chick is totally dragging this out. So they, they know it's near the water, but, uh, and, you know, Deanna's talking first, and then she hands it over kind of like, Hey, you take you the next one. So, yeah. and she gets on there, and there is a clock tower, and she describes it as the Big Ben statue. Yeah. She's like, "There's a Big Ben statue." Click, and then the phone. And I don't know what it is, but the word "statue" yeah. sticks, especially oh, in, Sean. in Sean's head. <laughs> Sean's like, "Hannah, don't forget the statue." Yeah, and Hannah's like, "Okay, let's go." Red, there's red. He's like, "Yeah, but statue." Right? Yeah, he's like, "Statue, statue, yeah. statue." You got that, Hannah? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "Oh man." So, <laughs> I mean. Is Sean the mole? And he's like, they said the wrong thing, so I'm going to keep hammering that. I don't think so, <laughs> but I mean, that would have been a brilliant move. Right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, exactly. Statue. And then, of course, Deanna picks up on that. Deanna's like, why the hell does she say statue? Mm -hmm. It's a freaking clock tower, you know? Yeah. And even like, Michael oh. at the end's like, that's a clock tower. That's not <laughs> that's a statue. statue. <laughs> <laughs> but now, now I will give Hannah Pross on that because she did stick with the statue story the whole time. She's like, I was telling you guys, a big Ben statue. Look, it's right there. Ryan, yeah. Yeah. Or Ryan, yeah. I mean, yeah. And it's like, it's like, yeah, but that's not a statue, Ryan. So, yeah, the statue, they get to the house and they're like, where are the, there's no statues here. It's just got to be wrong. But they start yelling and they, they get kind of lucky here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because, because they saw the red, right? That, so that was a good clue that gave it away when they told them red. And they're like, all right, shit, we're looking for something red here. And that was by far the most red thing out there, right? So that was, that was, that was a smart clue. And now, but again, the other, the other thing is, so it's marked as a temple on their map. And there were so many freaking Buddha statues inside that damn little hut they were in. I'd have been like, uh, hey, there's a shit ton of Buddha statues in here. And that would probably pinpoint them to, you know, the temple. They should have said that shit early on. I felt like they should have, like, game plan, like, hey, they're going to call again. What are we yes. going to pass? And instead, yeah, they exactly. act like, oh, uh, what do I need to say here? Yeah, exactly. And it is a lot of times passed between calls, right? So it's like, man, these women had plenty of time to game up. So it's like, which one of them is a mole? Because I know damn well it's one of them at this point. Yeah, I mean, if one person's trying to work breaking out of the cuffs, the other person needs to be thinking about what they're going to say on the yeah, phone. Exactly. Well, the other thing is, like, they're both, like, trying to use this, like, extended stick to open a window, and they're both really half-assing it. So I'm like, okay, I'm really at this point thinking, or one of you is the mole, but, uh -huh. like, 
which one? Because because you're both like not trying. And then it was when uh, Ryan saw the key and she was like, huh, huh. And she just kind of stared at it and she was uh-huh. like, huh. You know, I'm like, instead of like, if I saw the key after I'd been stuck in there, I'd be like, the key, the key, it's right there, you know, pointing it out. And she's like, oh my God, look at that. <laughs> and it was just such an odd way to point it out. Yeah, well, it was. But at the same time, if she's the mole, she didn't have to point it out. She could have just kept sitting there and make a freaking hand and make Indiana look for it. So well, that, maybe she did that, that for like off. 50 minutes. Yeah, but she, 30 she, minutes. She, <laughs> she, <laughs> yeah, but she she's still, like, I got to point something out here. I'm no, she, she didn't because then Deanna, because if Deanna never saw it, if they never got out of there, it ain't like Deanna can, Deanna can blame her like, oh, shit, because it's like you didn't see the keys either. But so. now, is the mole keeping the show on track, too? Because imagine if you threw a challenge at someone and they completely fumbled, and that wouldn't be good for TV if you're just locked in a room like, I don't know what we're doing in here. Hey, I don't know, man. So is the mole like, look, I waited 50 minutes, and this chick couldn't notice a key right in front of us. So, right, so then, that was a point out now, yeah. But then, but, then, and then, but then once they pointed him out, then all of a sudden Deanna worked, too, and she's like, she hooked the hook up, and she was able to get the keys off. So I was like, so both these chicks... Eat one, I'm thinking one of them is the mole. Yeah, both of them just kind of redeem themselves a little bit here. So I was like, yeah. Well, the other thing is like the key from the for the other group. You know, mm-hmm. it was Muna who found the key, and then everybody's like, well, she saw that key, but she didn't see the other key. I'm like, none of you saw, saw any it, of the yeah. keys. And none of you even like bothered. And then he said, wait, <laughs> there are two keys. The word was key, so I exactly. don't know if I fault Muna for that. No, I, I didn't fault Muna for that at all. And it's like none of you even went in that back room with her where she found the keys. So it's exactly. like, any, you know, so they're like, oh, it said keys clearly. It's like, yeah, none of you frickers caught that. You yeah, know, and so. I get like you're running that time, you find a key, you're like, let's get back. I could understand how that went down oh, yeah absolutely yeah so i mean yeah so they're all trying to blame moon there and i'm like seriously i'm like at least she found a key you guys didn't find shit so right. i mean somehow they're able to go back and get the key and then finish this thing in time but yeah when i was watching those two in that little house try and get the key i'm like man they don't seem to be doing that great of a oh yeah job no, they, either, they, they were horrible. Like, and like ryan takes the stick and she's all over the place so i'm mm-hmm. like i don't know if they're really just bad at this or yeah. if they're well, doing well, mole-like well, behavior. Well, well, and then it's like, you know, because it took them forever just to get that freaking window open, yet Deanna, in a matter of minutes, is able to get it, freaking hook them damn yeah. keys and off then pretty quick. Ryan's right? like, you're not going to be able to get to open. And then, boom, it's open. So I'm like, right. ah, man, what is going on here? Every time, mm-hmm. like, I'm leaning more towards one, you know, something else happens. Like, she finds the keys, and I'm like, uh-oh. Oh, yeah. I, mean, I mean, I get it. The mole has to at least pretend, especially in a situation where just you and one other person, I guess you got to pretend to be a team player to freaking really take the you know, take the shade off yourself. But with both these two being on the radar and both of them kind of playing iffy and then kind of showing they had a little bit of skill at the same time, I was like, damn, this is this is difficult. Yeah. So now they finish that, earn more money, and, and now they're told two people are going home. And you're like, two people? Holy cow. Because, I mean, I'm like, I don't even know who the mole strongly is at this point. So two people going home, that's huge. Mm-hmm. And they're like, someone needs to have like a meal with Ari, though. You need to choose someone to go and meet with him. Yeah, that's right. So, and people are, are stuck on Hannah. They think she's, yeah. they, for some reason, think she's going to add money to the pot, even though she was one of the biggest takers from the pot. Exactly. The beginning. Yeah, exactly. Out of this whole group, she's probably taken more money than anybody. Yeah, aside from, aside from me, she's gone now. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Who's left? True, but she's also like at least portrayed as the the best team player since that moment. That was a very bad moment for her taking all that money. But since that moment, she's been in a lot of groups that have actually put money in the pot and succeeded. Yeah, no, yeah. She, I mean, she's made some good moves, no doubt about it. She's a, a smart, quick thinker, mm-hmm. and she's running her ass off in the city. Seems very like Sean's kind of like lagging behind, you know, where she's, <laughs> she's like. like- He's like, I'm old, damn it, wait up. <laughs> so I don't know if he was sandbagging there. He's always asking for hints. So, uh-huh. I mean, Sean's just trying to hamper everything at this point. Yeah, she looked like a marathon runner, man. She was like, she looked good running through. The- <laughs> she's oh, yeah. just like, no, I got she, the pack was- behind me. She was like the pacer. Yeah, she was booking it, no doubt. So she meets with Ari, and Ari's like, here's the deal. I got five baskets. There's 20K in here. I think there's 2K, a correction, exemption, game over. Yep. You can keep going, but if you get the game over, it's game and, over. And Hannah just and, and, and let's not forget, she just told the people, "Look, if I find if I get offered the money, I'm taking the money. I'm not taking the exemption because they're all trying to find the person that's going to do that. So they all agree to that person's Hannah, right? So she goes in there as the person who is going to take the money no matter what. So five baskets, and then Ari's like, "The mole has passed your message. The twenty k." Is in basket two. Basket two, and she's like, "Oh, that's." And this is like it reminds me of the Princess Bride scene where it's like, yeah. "Well, the mole <laughs> says this, but the mole would know I know that, so right. <laughs> it must mean this." Right, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> 
But you must have known I was not a great fool. You would have counted on it, so I can clearly not choose the wine in front of me. You've made your decision then? <laughs> not remotely. And she chooses basket three that has the twenty yeah. yeah. k in it. And at this point, so now that she did that and she found the twenty k, she knows damn well game over is under basket two, right? At this point, it's like okay, it's almost. Well, pro- it's almost, I don't know about that. It's, it's pretty in her mind. It's pretty certain that basket two is a game over at this point, right? Most most likely it is if that's what he was trying to get her to choose. But at this point in time, she's got the twenty k. I, I would stop listening to Ari and just take the twenty k. Move on. Yeah, but an exemption's critical. Two people are going home yeah. now, and she knows that, so she wants that exemption. Yeah. And then you know, and so she's th- she's still thinking that in her head, and then here comes Ari and Tyson yeah. her more. And now the mole says the exemption is in number four. Exactly. Now, d- do you let this sway you one way or another, or do you like eh, ignore that noise? Right. Well, the thing is, because you know, so in order to take the next one, she's got to discard the twenty Ks. That would be gone forever. So whatever she takes yep. next, you know, that I mean. There's still a huge chance. What do you mean discard? I think she keeps going and earns more stuff. No, you can. And only if you get the game over, no. it's over. No, you can no? only choose one. No. Yeah, you can only choose one. That's Are you it. sure? Positive. Yeah. He he said yeah. he said he said you could take what you get in that box, or you can push it aside and go for another box. So that twenty k hmm. would be gone. So well, that's risky as heck. Exactly. So it's like, do you listen to the mole now and take the four, take the freaking exemption? Or do you just stay, you know what, man, I got the 20K in my hands. Off the bat, right? Off the bat, she got the 20K. That's, that's freaking lucky as hell. One out of five chance. Yeah, so, you that's know, what you want, right, it, if you're it, playing it, it straight. Exactly. Now, see, do you listen to the mole and take the, you know, box four, which still could be game over, right? You know, she, it, they're believing you to believe box two's game over, but it still could be box four. Or it could be the exemption. So do you be super selfish and go for that, which could be nothing, or do you just do what you said you were going to do to your whole team and take the 20K? Yeah, well, with two people going home, I really want that exemption. And 20K, yeah, that's great, but I need to look out for myself at this point. Well, and that's, of course, that's how they end this off, is her saying that, right? So, which makes sense, but at the same time, it's like you just told your whole damn group you were taking that. But, but then <laughs> well, she. Well, how many times have we seen people go against yeah, the group? What I think, too, is she was like, look, if I get rid of the 20K, if I take get the exemption, Two people are going home. One other person is the mole. So really, there's only one person I got to apologize to at this point. Yeah. You know, so I was like, well, <laughs> yeah. I was like, all right, yeah. <laughs> what do we think? I, Who, who's the mole? Well, well do you think Hannah's going to take the 20K or is she going to go past it? She's going past it. Yeah. I, I you got so. to at I, this point. Yeah, I think she chooses something else. But it'd be interesting if she chooses four or if she chooses like one or five one or something. One or five, yeah. I'm hoping she gets the game over I mean, she and comes back into handy. Yeah, she could get the correction I mean, too. Now, I don't mean. know if you stop at a correction though. I don't know if that's enough. Was well, a hell of a lot better well, than that? Then you're yeah. at a 50 yeah. 50 chance there. Well, I guess there's still three boxes, but I, I don't know. Because if you get the correction, then you're like, now you're, you've got this game over thing, unless you're just totally sure that the game over is under box two, since you didn't choose that. Right. But, but, but in your mind, you're still thinking, okay, or it could be under box four. Because at this point, it's like, all right, it's definitely under two or four, probably, because I'm always playing games with me here. But it's like, which one is it, right? So yeah, maybe the mole's like, yeah. I'm gonna choose a random thing, yeah. and and I'll let them do the mind f. Yeah, and because maybe maybe <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and we only went, we got so we're coming out of the wire, man. We got yeah. two episodes left next Friday. I'm still in on Ryan here. I'm still in on Ryan, but Deanna's right up there, man. Yep. she is right up there. So for I'm just kind of at this point, I'm hoping it's not Deanna because just. It's too much in our face if it's the cat thing. Uh-huh. Yeah, right. <laughs> so <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> But she, but you know, at the same time, she has done jack shit through this whole game to help anybody do anything until she got that thing on the hook. That's like the only thing Deanna has done this whole freaking game. Other than that, she has slowed every team down she's ever been on. So now let's like, say it is Deanna. Is she playing it smart? To an extent, yeah. I, I think I think she played up the freaking uh, claustrophobic shit a little too much, and obviously because she had a lot of people like, look, is she freaking just playing this shit up because she's the mole or what? You know, so I think to an extent she was, for the most part, she's playing smart, but I think she overplayed it a little bit with the clutch. I think think. she's playing it smart, and I'd be very disappointed if she's the mole because the show would have been the ones ruined it, not her game. Yeah, no, it's true. By throwing all this cat stuff in there, and that would that would be unfortunate, right? right. Because if it weren't for that stuff, I probably wouldn't suspect her. Yeah, probably not. Well, the show only ruined it for the smart people because it was the commenter that clued you in on that. You didn't pick up on the cat stuff until someone told you about the cat stuff. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> but once I started paying attention that's to the right. cat stuff, but what, once, it was and that's a good thing about commenters, right? They help us out. So, and the same thing. As soon as the comment, as soon as she said that, I was like, "Damn, that's a good point." You know. 
Yeah. I mean, I hope that there's all kinds of other clues that point to other people, and it's like, which one do you believe? But yeah. so far, all of it is pointing to one person. Oh, in yeah. my so, mind. so I'm still on Ryan with, with Deanna as a close second. Josh? Yeah, same. Ashley? Same. There you have, well, folks. That's no fun. No, Come on, right. guys. But, that would you no, my, I mean, and, and what the fun thing is, Michael was always high on our radar, right? But at this point, I, I think he's just playing a good game. Same and, with Moon. You know, I feel like she's yeah, just playing a good game. Yeah, exactly. And I and I don't think they're it. But you know, but for a long time, Michael was on all three of our radar, and now I think he's safely off of it. I, I think I, I think it's definitely down to those two women. But we shall see. Now, is there someone that you'd be like, "Holy crap, that was amazing"? If if they were, the it would have been Deanna if somebody didn't point out the cats, though. <laughs> <laughs> Hannah would be kind of a surprise at this point. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hannah would have played it good. Yeah, yeah. no, that's true. I, I mean, yeah. she's letting everybody else t- tear each other apart at this point. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I mean, you know, and it, she played somewhat aggressive at some point, so that would be good. I yeah, think. no, it would be. And, well, and the funny thing is too, you know, in the previews it showed, you know, the mole is, and then you saw everybody's oh, oh, yeah. and you're like, yeah. so you know, it makes you think like people were just like, holy shit, I didn't expect that person, right? So yeah, I don't know, but of course we know how editing goes. Yeah. <laughs> Well, there you have, it, folks. That is uh, three more episodes down. We got two more to go. You know, you know our take. You know, we're all pretty sold on Ryan right now. What is your take? And uh, you know, of course, Deanna is a close second. But hey, we love doing this, guys. Uh, hit that like and subscribe. Please tell us what you think about it, and we will check y'all in our next review.